everyone and welcome back to another video so in this one we're going to do some summery nails um, I needed to put summer on my nails because we've got no summer here in the UK it's absolutely awful this year I don't know what's happened um, we've just got rain so yeah not very good um, there has been a bit of a gap with the videos because I have been away for a while uh, for a few days we went on a little holiday but I wouldn't really call it a holiday um, it was a few days away but we went to Wales so we were still in the UK and it rained pretty much every day so yeah we got away for a bit but not much difference in the weather so anyway I decided to cheer myself up by doing some nice summery nails so I'm going to be using Kiki London's um, gel polishes today um, I think everything I'm using is Kiki London today um, so I did just show you the gel polishes and Kiki London gel polishes are cruelty free they are vegan and um, I love this brand I really do um, the colours are really vibrant so I really wanted to get some of those on my nails just to make it a bit more a bit more like summer when we've not really got summer so I'm putting two coats of these gel polishes on so I've got a light blue one called baby boy and then I've got like a peachy colour uh, peachy nude that one's called and then they cure for 60 seconds um, yeah so I'm putting two coats of each colour on and then when those are all cured and I'm happy with them and I've got full coverage I'm going to use a top coat so I'm using the Kiki London's no white top coat and the reason I'm using that is because I want to put some chrome powder over the top and that's um, you do need a no wipe to rub the chrome powder into yeah while i'm doing that i just want to ask um anyone who's watching whereabouts in the world are you what kind of summer are you having i don't know whether it's just terrible in the uk or it's terrible everywhere in the world uh, we just do seem to be having a really awful um summer this time there's just been no sun there has been for like two days and the temperature will climb up a little bit and then it just goes it goes back to like 12 13 degrees and it's so cold i'm in the northwest so i am a bit higher um so i'm not you know down in london where it is warmer anyway i'm going to stop moaning about the weather now um and I'm going to show you the chrome powder so this is the white pearl chrome powder from Kiki London and it's gorgeous this stuff because you get um it's not a really bright shiny chrome it's more of a um it's like a glazed donut type of chrome that type of chrome so that's what I really wanted for the background of these nails so I'm just taking a little bit of the powder and you only need a tiny little bit and I'm using that on the white side of this applicator and I'm just rubbing that into the no wipe top coat and then I'm turning it over to the sort of buff side and that is um, like a different texture and that helps rub it into the nail even more so I did get it all over the practice hand and you will get it all over your fingers when you're using this because it does go everywhere but don't be tempted to wipe your fingers yet because you could end up wiping some of it off and you don't want to do that so I do make sure that I cap all the edges and then I get a dust brush and I just brush off any of the excess chrome powder that might be still on the surface of the nails because when you're doing chrome nails any bit of dust or anything stuck in there will, will show up. So then I'm using the velvet matte top coat because we're going to be doing a little bit of nail art on top of these. So I just make sure that that's all covered to seal all that chrome powder in and then that gets cured for 60 seconds as well and I just find it easier to paint over a matte surface than a shiny surface. I find if you leave your surface shiny your brush um, sort of skips over a little bit and it's um, it doesn't have as much sort of friction there. So I'm using lots of bright colours and I will put the links to everything that I've used today in the description box but I'm just showing you quickly the colours that I'm using and I'm also using the detailer brush from Kiki London and my dotting tool. I do end up using the dotting tools more than, than the brush because I really like making flowers with the dotting tool. It's just so easy and it's just really fun. 
So I'm putting four dots on for the first flower and then I'm just using the detailer brush just to make those into a petal shape towards the centre. And then when I'm happy with that, I give that a cure and then I put another dot in the middle to finish the flower off. And then I've just sped this up now and I'm just doing lots of different coloured flowers all over the nail. Uh, in the same way really with the dotting tool. Some of them um, I leave as little dots and some of them I drag out to make petal shapes with. And then I just finish off the nail by putting a few just dots of colour around. And then I'm doing a similar thing but with different colours on the ring finger. And then I am making sure that I'm flash curing after each flower just so that I don't mess it up. And then when I'm happy with them, I will give them a full cure in the Kiki London lamp for 60 seconds. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And then hit the notification bell and then YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video. So on the last two nails, I'm just going to be using a green and I'm just doing some leaves. I'm only showing you me doing it on the pointer finger because I do exactly the same on the, on the pinky finger. But I just don't do that on camera, just so that the video doesn't get too long. So I'm using the stripe liner brush to do these leaves. I found it easier to do the stems with the longer brush. And then I've finished those, so I just need to top coat now. So I'm using the new crystal top coat from Kiki London, and this is slightly thicker than the no wipe top coat, but it is a lot shinier. So that's why I wanted to finish it off with this. And that really brings the chrome to life as well, because it brings it back from um, being matted earlier, brings it back to shiny. And then this is how they look when they're all finished. So let me know in the comments what you think. Would you wear these? I think these would be really nice for you to wear if you were going on holiday somewhere. So you can get 15% off at Kiki London if you use my code. If you look at the top of the screen, it does say Sharon 10 and that is the code that you need to put in. But for the whole of July, you can actually get 15% off with that same code. So if you want to take advantage of that, I really would recommend um, these colours. They are really creamy consistency and they're just really easy to use. So yeah, that is it for this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.